Social media may give an impression that everything is so easy to make, but is it really? I want to invite you to sneak in with me to the behind the scenes day where hopefully I will answer some questions about the bakery's life. But as always, let's start from the beginning. I'm not gonna lie that when I wake up, I'm ready to rock and roll the world. It takes time to come back to reality, but the truth is that my morning walk to work helps me to get into the right mindset. Moreover, it is so empty in the city that early, so it's kind of nice to peacefully observe this beautiful nature when most people are still asleep. When I open the bakery and change, we start taking all the pastries out, as at this point they have partially proofed overnight in the fridge, but still need to puff a little bit more. We also take out our focaccias and trays of ham and cheese croissants. We will leave them to proof outside too with the rest of the pastries. The reason why we don't do this step a day before is that we think about every centimeter in the fridge, so we finish arranging them in the morning. In the meantime, let's send some bread and non yeast dough products to bake. First of all, we bake cookies and macarons. Those are our everyday menu items. That never disappears from the display counter. Once we fill the oven, we take out double bakes, which are already in line to bake. They take a little bit longer to bake, so we prepare some other pastries. And for that, we will need to brush them with some egg wash. So let's crack some eggs, add some cream, blend and continue. Galette's parcels have been done by another colleague, so now I'm taking them out and what's left to do is to egg wash them, finish with some salt, pepper, olive oil and fresh thyme. Seasonal galette is finished by egg washing them and topping with brown granulated sugar. In the blink of an eye, the brioche oil proofs significantly, so let's egg wash them too and send them to bake. Time flies in the morning, really, croissants seem to be ready too. One by one, kind of old school, but the most secure way to achieve nice results, brushing each croissant and making space for another gorgeous pastry, cinnamon roll. That's the pastry which sells itself, we never have a leftover of it. So this pastry is done using croissant dough and cinnamon creme patisserie. It takes a little bit of time to proof, but before that we divide all rolls into metal trays and dress them there until ready to bake. After they are done, we immediately brush them with sugar syrup and now they are truly done. My colleague is filling the display with loaf cakes, brownies, etc. And there's one more pastry I want to pay a little bit more attention to. In the morning, when we arrange all the pastries for sale, the tartatan is normally ready to go straight on the display. But let me show you the process of preparing it here. So we begin with apple prep. Today we got three boxes of them. This is one of the big batch where it takes quite some time. So I put the music on to keep me going. I have a colleague on my side, so let's start. As you guessed right, we got to peel all of them and core them. Then slice them in half and arrange in a tin. While I peel apples with the back of my eye, I check the caramel. I slowly melt down sugar and towards the end whisk in butter. Once the apples are arranged in the tins, we divide the caramel and now we are ready to send them to the oven. It takes a little bit of time for apples to cook, but once they do, we cool them down and add some almond frangipan nice. on the top and then top it with the dough. Egg wash it and bake again. The way they turn is absolutely beautiful. They look fantastic. Golden beautiful apples. Even though we prepared the display and opened the bakery's door, doesn't mean we can't relax. We are going to do some prep. Probably creme patisserie is the most common thing in every bakery, so we are not an exception. While milk and cream with vanilla already warming up in the induction, I scale egg yolk, sugar, 
and corn flour. Whisk them together and once milk has reached a boiling point, I temper egg yolks. Bit by bit I'm finally bringing everything back to it. I start with a spatula as I don't want to create unnecessary foam. When it starts to thicken, I switch to a whisk and continue to the end. Finally, I add butter, incorporate it well with a hand blender and cool it down before storing in the fridge. Since I used induction, very quickly I will do some syrup for tomorrow. So water, sugar and spices like anise, cinnamon go into the pot. We bring it to boil, let it cool and later store it. Talking about tomorrow's prep, we always make sure we have 3 types of frangipan for our double bakes, so I check if we have enough, if not, we will fill what's missing. This leads to another daily job, fill almond, hazelnut and pistachio croissants for tomorrow's bake. So the routine is quite self-explanatory and steps are the same for all types, so I'm not going to comment, let you watch, but after it's baked, honestly guys, it's like a proper huge dessert. In any of the places I've worked before, I've never tasted such a generous double bake. Okay, let's put all the excitement aside and check on my colleague who has already finished today's lamination and now he's rolling pan de chocolat and croissants for tomorrow. That's how it works actually. Every person has a role here and we rely on each other. That's what it's called teamwork. We each kind of fill a different role at work. So here for example, you see one person work and he is making beautiful croissants and other pastries. Okay, there are a few jobs left to do. I'm grabbing two batches of brioche and oh, oh boy, let's get started as it can last long. I scale all the batches in one go, so by the time I come back to pieces, they are more relaxed and it's easier to shape as it's not warm in the kitchen so they don't become too soft. Once in another part of day in the life of the baker, I mentioned that rolling brioche was my favorite job. It has kind of still remained so, but when you see a double batch of brioche, you wanna work as fast as you can. I do exactly the same with chocolate brioche. So nice of my barista that she hasn't forgotten about me and brought me another cafecito. This amount gonna last us for some time. If I start making croissant dough, it means I'm on the second half of my mise en place and I'm close to going home. So we scale two different types of flour, salt, sugar, cube butter, and milk with water. Mix everything together. Halfway through we add fresh yeast. As you see the dough still looks rough, so we give it more time to mix. Eventually the dough becomes soft and pliable. Then we take it out of the bowl and portion evenly. Pre-shape the bowls and leave it to rest at room temperature for around 20 minutes. Once the dough has relaxed, we flatten each bowl and reserve it in the plastic bag. All of them going to rest in the freezer. In the same bowl, we quickly mix a batch of galet. So that I scale butter, sour cream, flour and water. So flour and butter go first, then after a few minutes we add cream mixed with water. That is pretty much it, super not complicado. We make sure butter pieces have not mixed too much. Then we wrap the dough into our separate pieces as it will be used for several days. That's my last job for today. As soon as I get home, I immediately put my uniform to wash, as regardless of getting a little bit flowery, it has a strong butter and baked pastry smell. So the sooner I deal with it, the better. Since it's very hot in Spain in summer, I feel it takes a toll on my energy resources. Going to take a famous Spanish siesta. Holy, holy siesta. 
before moving to Spain, I heard stories about siesta and it looked really funny, but now it really makes sense, like a quick nap, half an hour, one hour, really brings you back on your feet, so that's how I feel, I feel much, much, much more energetic and I feel I can come back to work because uh, I have lots, lots of cositas. Uh, to do today. I am doing some stuff after work, so it's one of them. I'm going to the test a recipe. So I'm testing a few things at the same time. I'm doing an apple pie. Very, very nice. Very, very simple. And I'm also testing another croissant recipe. Just have some lighting. I have some kind of little studio at home. So yeah, I'm just gonna finalize, take some photos finish editing and upload for tomorrow. I'm doing my best to push myself with my job, including kitchen and computer time. And in the end, I'm actually happy with what I've done today. However, I need to let my body rest. From these lorries, I know it's around midnight, so I'm not staying any longer. Thank you for watching and see you next week.